Wing testers. Yo, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303 and today we have a performance review on the Nike KD9. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So as usual, we're gonna start off with the traction here. And these guys feature a honeycomb traction pattern. It's done up in multi-directional fashion. So you have lateral coverage and linear coverage all in one setup. And this stuff works awesome, especially in the solid rubber options. I have not played in the translucent options, at least not in this point in time. Who knows if I'll get a pair? You never know. But as of right now, I've played in these guys in two different colorways, both of which was solid rubber and they worked exceptionally well. One of my favorite aspects is the flex groove here. So what that does is allows the traction to be in contact with the floor at all times and when the traction's in contact with the floor at all times that means that you're getting the best out of that coverage as possible there were instances when i needed to wipe but it was few and far between the court that you actually see in the footage is a really nice looking court but for whatever reason that floor is super slick and even with the court being slick these guys were able to keep up no problem with some minor slipping but like i said i mean the court was slick what you're gonna do now the cushion is one of my favorite aspects of this shoe it's full length articulated zoom air this stuff is a amazing emphasis on amazing some of you guys may be used to this type of setup due to the fact that it was used previously on the nike lebron 10 and the kd6 elite however this is much lower profile so you're sitting a little bit closer to the ground with that you get greater court feel however this does not sacrifice any cushion in lieu of that and once again the flex groove is a prominent feature it articulates the forefoot in a way that no other full length bag has been done before so you're able to move freely with this maximum cushion setup without ever feeling like you're lagging or you're slow or that you're having an issue flexing the shoe. And that's been the main problem with full length setups is just that it's a little bit restrictive. These guys, not the case. You're getting the best of everything. You're getting the best impact protection, the best mobility, the best court feel, the best responsiveness. I'm telling you, amazing. Now the materials are another key feature that I personally really like. The forefoot here is full on fly knit and it's actual fly knit. There's no glue or fuse behind it. It's free fly knit. It's allowed to do whatever fly knit does, which is basically create a one-to-one -one fit without any restriction, pinching, binding, or anything of the sort. A downside to a softer material like this, obviously is gonna be durability. However, the break-in process is practically a non-issue with a setup like this, and that's something that I personally really enjoy. So straight out the box, these guys, good to go. And then the back half of the shoe is just a basic textile mesh. It's got some foam structure. You got a TPU heel counter in the back. It's a little glued on KD logo back there as well. And the only thing that I dislike about this area of the materials is just that the collar does not stretch at all. So getting these on your foot is a bit of a pain, but once they're on, they're good to go, which leads me into the fit. These guys have a tricky fit. This is my true size. They feel a slight bit long. I do have another pair that's a half a size down. Those ones feel amazing. However, those ones did have some break in time due to this fused seam that they have right across the top of the midfoot. That break in process was fairly painful. These guys don't have that issue. And I was afraid that I would receive some weird lockdown because of the heel construction, but that actually wasn't the case. These guys, even with my true size, were a solid shoe. The only thing that I noticed was that my foot wasn't quite quite in line with that flex groove. Like I said, these just feel like they are a little bit long, but it was something that I was able to get past really quickly once I was on court. So my recommendation for these guys right here, try them on. It's very important that you try them on if possible. If all else fails, go true to size. You can't really fail if you go with your regular size. But personally, I've experienced a half a size down, true size. I've even had people tell me that they went up half a size. So this is another shoe in the KD line that you're gonna wanna try on just to be safe. Now, lockdown is awesome. The four foot lacing, you really don't even need them because because the forefoot fits so perfectly and so snug. And then this lace loop right here on both sides actually is embedded within the shoe and it goes all the way down to the back of the footbed. So it really draws your heel into the heel counter giving you really great heel lockdown. Everything that we just talked about plays into their support. You've got a really nice flat base and it's anatomically correct as well. So it maps the foot really nicely. And you have some really great materials offering you a really solid fit. And that heel containment is everything if you're looking for actual support. So overall, I really think the Nike Bass Basketball hit it out of the park this year with the KD9. You have some great traction, amazing cushion, great materials, a solid fit, depending on your size. That's the only weird part. And support is adequate as well. You get all of this stuff right here for 150 bucks, which is awesome. They lowered the price from last year's model, which was 180. So if you do end up purchasing these guys, you're gonna feel that you got the most bang out of your buck, given all the features that it offers. If you wanted to pick these guys up, they're gonna be available over at finishline.com. We will have a direct link in the description box below for anybody interested. And that pretty much takes care if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, have a good one.